Right now, uh, more on the economy and the Fed. Cam Harvey is a professor of finance at uh, the Fuqua Business School at Duke University. Cam, it's great to see you. Great if to you're see Jay you. Powell, what kind of jobs number do you actually want to see this Friday? Do you, do you really want to see employment go down? So it, it's really inexplicable to me. So we're worried about 240,000 uh, print. Uh, it's not the 240,000. It's how the Fed will interpret it. And somehow in their mind, they're thinking that they need to focus on jobs. Yet, if you look at the inflation data, um, the main driver of inflation is shelter. And shelter has been weakening, uh, coming down, rents year over year uh, are, are down. And that's a third of the CPI and 40% of the personal consumption expenditure uh, deflator. On top of that, um, the previous print was 4% year over year, but the next inflation print will drop the very influential June 22, uh, giant inflation print. So if we have the same inflation um, that we had last month, mm. that was 0.1%, the year over year drops from 4% to 2.7%. And even if we have a large print, like 0.4, we go from 4 to 3%. So you put these data together, and why are we focusing on the labor market? So why is it so important um, to, to essentially increase unemployment when most of the job is already done? You think that Jay Powell has not internalized the message that, that you're sending right now? Yeah, he, he is not. And, and it, it, it even is worse. Uh, I said that inflation, uh, the most important component is shelter. And indeed, two, well, 65% of the last print was due to shelter. And shelter is running at 7.2% annualized rate. And we all know that that's not realistic. That's a lagging indicator. So uh, the most recent numbers, rentals year over year, are flat or down. So this stuff will come into the inflation rate in the future. Go look at the producer price index. So a year ago, it was running at 11.1%. Today, it's running at 1.1%. So that's a drop of 10 percentage points. So, so again, these are important leading indicators of inflation, and uh, it's Again, inexplicable to me why the Fed isn't looking at these data and just focused on that 240,000 print. Okay, Cam, so if you're right, below. if you're right, how quickly can you get to 2%? Oh, well, uh, again, 65% uh, is shelter. That is coming down. It's going to drip down. And I think we can get to the 2% range within six to nine months. So if, if we follow along then on Steve Leisman's reporting and looking at the probability of a rate hike here coming up, if that does indeed happen, was the pause long enough in the policy to do what the Fed is trying to do to tame inflation? So we don't need a pause. We need a termination of the rate hike. And I said this in January. So looking at the inflation data uh, beyond just looking at jobs, uh, inflation is going in the right direction. It will continue to go in the right direction. It will have likely a two-handle in terms of the next uh, release. And, and I think we should focus on that data. And it, it just uh, if we hike again and again, uh, we just increase the probability of a hard landing recession. And, and we don't need a recession right now. So we're on the right track for the goal of 2% or around 2%. And, and a recession is unnecessary. It's a self-inflicted wound. It's a known goal.